what's up air signs it's your girl isabella tara to ride back to the game gonna hit you with your 15th through the 28th message we're just gonna see what spirit has for you guys what the energies are what you need to be aware of go ahead and like share subscribe um check out my etsy shop um i'm not currently accepting personals in this time but you know when i when i am i'll definitely let you guys know Taking some me time, some personal time to just chill. I started hearing <laughs> the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, the song "Chilling, Relaxing." All oh, look, I don't even know. I don't even know. The, I don't even know the, the song, but it's like I'm hearing it play in the background. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I pulled up to the house around seven or eight, and I yelled to the caddy. Yo, home, smell you later. Ooh, I say that and dirty dick pops out. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Results are in. What's this? What is this? Air signs. What is going on here? Delay. Dirty dick. Results are in. Ghost Rider, co-parent. Oh, God. Work ethic. Oh, dear. Okay. I don't like this message already. Like, I didn't want to even go here. Ooh, some of you may want to go and get uh, tested. For some of you who have been getting tested, you're going to get the results in between the 15th and 28th. And I do not feel like you're going to be happy with what you're finding out. I feel like you... For, this is not for everybody, but for some of you who have gone and gotten tested and are waiting on the results, you're getting the results between the 15th and 28th, and you're not going to be happy about it. Like, I feel like some of you may have been dealing with a co-parent, like, fucking around with a um, an ex, okay? Somebody that you share and ask, oh, God, why do I got to give this message? This is just for those of you who are expecting results. You're not going to like what you get. Okay, um, this person that you've been fucking around with, you, they've either been fucking around with their co-parent, like, th fucking around with, you know, a kid's parent or an ex, and I feel like they caught something. Dirty dick. And I feel like the, um, I don't feel like you have necessarily been experiencing <sighs> signs and symptoms, like I'm getting that they were delayed, or the results were delayed. But, um, yeah, they was lying. They was lying about, um, still hooking up with somebody. They're still hooking up with somebody that they got a kid with, or they've got some kind of financial tie to. They haven't let them go. They've been hooking up with them the whole time. Just be aware. All right. So that's the bullshit. Let's, let's, let's see what else we got for those of you that this is not the case because that's, that's terrible. the air signs what they need to know between the 15th and 28th air signs that is like how are we gonna start off with that shit oh my god the mess okay for those of you that that is not the case you've had a delay in regards to a new beginning on a um partnership like, I feel like you've been waiting for a message to come in in regards to somebody from your past. I feel like for some of you who are not dealing with your co-parent or somebody that you're, like, you've got a child with, I feel like they are getting the results in between the 15th and 28th about an STD. Like, I'm really getting that this person is not clean. Like... And I feel like this person ain't telling nobody. Like that's that's the that's the worst part about it. This person has got some kind of disease, her venereal disease, and they're not telling anybody. They're keeping that shit low key. I feel like they've gotten the results back, and they're like in the state of nobody told me, so I'm not telling anybody else. So definitely, did I say something about the will of fortune in this reading? I, I guess I've been. Something about the Wheel of Fortune. 
Okay. Okay. All right. This is definitely talking about somebody dealing with a co-parent situation. All right. So, for those of you who are not waiting on results, the person that you have a child with, um, that I don't feel like you are actually in a partnership with, I feel like it's a delayed partnership. There was something about this, the, the relationship didn't quite ever take off, okay? Like, it never got to marriage, or it never got to the level of commitment that you expected it to come into, okay? And this person, you know, went off doing their own thing, fucking around getting it how they live you know like i feel like this person has you know been doing a lot of traveling and being very reckless in it like being very reckless like this is the person top person who does not wear a condom like yolo okay and i feel like they're getting a message between the 15th and 28th about um a disease that's going to make them feel very burdened because I'm feeling that there's something about this disease that they're getting told that they have that is not something that they can just put down or it's something if they can put it down it's going to be something that's going to really um look fuck boy got burnt oh my god okay look, look is it something they're going to get rid of because ghost rider mm-mm Nope, they're going to be very in their head about whatever results that they're getting in. I feel like, look, oh God, I'm not saying that. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it like that. It's, it's something they're they're not, they're going to have to carry with them. But I get that they're not going to be telling anybody that they hook up with about this disease that they actually have that they can't get rid of. All right. Um, I feel like there's something about karma being delivered in this time. Okay, and I feel like it's definitely in regards to somebody that you either have a child with, like I feel like um, if you were estranged from your baby daddy or baby mama, I feel like they're, this person is definitely getting their karma in this time. I feel like the tables have turned is what I'm hearing, um, and I feel like this person is actually going to be trying to make a trip back to you. Ooh, be careful. Spirit saying, don't do it. Red flag, red flag. Abort mission abort like they are telling you to <laughs> oh my god hide your kids hide your wives hide your husband because they raping everybody out here which i hope they're not raping you god i hope they're not anyways but um hide your kids hide your wives like i feel like this person is definitely like i feel like they've been so reckless in regards to who they've been hooking up with like i don't even get that this person is fully I feel like they hook up with whoever and whatever, okay? Like, I'm really getting the vibes that this person is not even locked down to specific genders. Like, I feel like this person might possibly be bisexual, okay? And I feel like they've picked up something along the way and they're trying to bring it back to you. Spirit's definitely telling you to protect yourself between the 15th and 28th because this person is about to try to make a re-appearance um, in your life and try to, um, yeah... They ain't going to tell you shit. They are not going to tell you about what it is that they're carrying. Okay? But it's like um, something that the gift that keeps on giving is what I heard. Okay? So, mm -mm. be mindful. They're about to come back and try to make something work with you. Possibly because of restrictions on finances. Or they're just realizing that the trips that they're... Like something about... I feel like they've gone, they've seen the world, they've done what they wanted to do, sowed their oats, and now they're trying to come back and um, solidify something, balance something out. And I feel like Spirit's saying, be smart about this. Look, I, I got drawn, look, they want to have come back and have a family with you, but that's being reversed, I don't know. But um, I'm being drawn to this red cross. <laughs> so there's something going on with this person's... Um, medical state that you definitely need to be aware of do not jump blindly into the situation because i feel like this there was something about this partnership that was delayed put on hold it was divinely guided for this relationship to not materialize it's like i feel like you might have possibly been in this state of waiting hoping wishing and praying that this person will come back to you okay i'm gonna stop you right there g <laughs> you need to be definitely mindful that this person has went and you know fucked up their health and is coming back to possibly fuck your health up too and they don't give a fuck they ain't telling nothing they gonna act like oh it ain't no bit like like ghost rider 
they are not they're not telling and i feel like this is someone who is not actually capable of being in a monogamous relationship because i had seen that not of not of ones it's like yeah and it came out again you have a you have some you have a kid with this person okay so you know you have a kid with this person they're trying to come back in but they are a knight they are not capable of being faithful even if you wanted to give it a chance knowing that this person is out here burning like <sighs> protect yourself from this individual know that they are wishy-washy as fuck and still wishy-washy they are not to be trusted okay so that's y'all's message for the 15th through the 28th you know it ain't gonna be for everybody general reading but um yeah i'll see you guys later protect yourself